Hi all. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Amira and today I am going to be showing you all of my favorite neutral lipsticks and neutral lip combos. So basically like what lip pencils I like to pair with which lipsticks, if that makes sense. So keep watching. All right, gang gang, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more so you can see my lips so right now what I'm wearing the combo that I'm wearing on my lips now that I'm going to take off as we you know swatch and add pencils and things is finesse from proper beauty and I paired it with the um, and this is my first time doing this pairing but I'm loving it so I'm gonna talk about it because I think it's such a pretty combo so I paired it with the um, house um, not house, about face beauty clockwork pencil, which I reviewed in my um, about face beauty video. And so I'm just going to swatch these next to each other so you guys can see. I mean, you can see them on my lips, but if your skin tone is different than mine, then you can kind of see a little bit what I'm talking about. So this is the combo. This is the pencil and this is the lipstick. And I just love the way that looks on my lips. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, so this one I'm going to be, I've been wearing Finesse more. I wanted to get more use out of my Proper Beauty lipsticks. I purchased them, I want to say, last summer, and I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of them. But I'm thinking that I just need to find like the perfect like pencil and lipstick combos. But right now, so far, Finesse and Audacious, which is like this red, orange, beautiful, juicy color, are my two faves. But I did pull out Focused. And I can show you what that looks like. That's focused. Which is a little dark. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be putting these on my lips so you guys are gonna see them, but I just wanted to show you them since I'm talking about them. And this is Victress, which I also really, really love. So the neutrals in these um, in this range is so they're so lovely. I did have a hard time picking out which ones would work for me. Um, they're meant basically the original line from Proper Beauty was supposed to be neutrals that were for women of deeper skin tones. Um, and what I found is that a lot of them are yellow leaning, which I like, but I couldn't figure out which ones would be best for me. So it took me a while to figure that out. But these are the three neutral tones that I picked out and. I will say that finesse is probably my my favorite. So pretty. So let me take this off and then we can get started. Okay guys, lipstick is off. This is my lips with nothing on. Let's go with the lipstick pairing that I get the most attention for because whenever I pair these lipsticks together, I get so many questions about, um, or this lipstick and the lip pencil, what are you wearing on your lips? So this is the combo that I do the most. When you see me wearing a neutral lip, this is what you're seeing. You are seeing Gucci Penny Beige, and I'll swatch it for you on my hand. It's really pretty neutral. I love this shade so much. And you are seeing my very beat up ColourPop BFF 3. This is the combo that I wear the most. And so I'm going to apply these for you guys on camera. So isn't that beautiful? It just, it's, it's deeper around the lip line, but not too much. It kind of just makes my lips look really juicy and natural and gives them some dimension. But yeah, that is Penny Beige and ColourPop's BFF3 Lippy Pencil. Lips are bare again, and I'm going to be going in with this tone again, but I'm going to be going in with another Gucci shade, which is the other nude that I, or neutral, because these are all neutral. Some of these will get a bit deep, but I still consider, I still consider browns to be neutrals, you know, it's a neutral tone. So you're going to be seeing some deeper tones in this little swatch video, try on video, but most of them will be on the lighter range. So the next one, and I'm going to take my BFF3 again. 
and I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. My lips are already like, really? I have naturally really dry lips, so this is going to be this is going to be a fun time for my lips after this video. And I'm taking Susan Nude, and I'm going to actually, you know what? Let me do this so I can show you the difference between the two. So this is Penny Beige. This is um, BFF3 and this is Susan Nude and I use this liner for both and it works for both but as you can see it's just so neutral that it just it's perfect for both tones and even though when you open these up they don't look that different on uh, when they're swatched out you can see how much cooler um, Susan Nude is. And this uh, is the Gucci Satin Formula for both Penny Beige and Susan Nude. I only have one of them matched. And we'll swatch those later. I'm gonna do the darker shades later. It just makes more sense. We'll do those later. And then I just kinda blend that out. Yeah. Do you see the difference? Like it's not that huge of a difference on my lips from Penny Beige, but it's just a tad cooler. And it looks really pretty with this eye look. Um, by the way, if you guys are ever wondering what's on my face if I'm doing a video where I'm not, you know, talking about what's on my face. I put everything that's on my face in the description box down below. Um, if you purchase anything from what I'm wearing or what I mentioned, they are affiliate, most of them are affiliate links. So if you choose to shop through them, I get a small commission and I give you a thank you in advance. It helps the channel out because basically what I do is take whatever I make in that affiliate link money and put it towards things I want to purchase for the channel, whether that be makeup to review for you guys or, you know, equipment to, you know, upgrade the vibes, you know? So. Back on topic, this is um, another fave. I just, I just, it's so pretty. It's just, it's cool, but it's not ashy. It doesn't make me look, my lips look dead or dry or gross, which some light tones can do, even when I put a lip liner with. And I'm gonna show you a shade that I, it's not a fave, but I'm trying to get it to be a fave and I'm trying to tweak it. So I'm going to play with it on camera with you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. But this is a this is a favorite combo of mine. I just, I love this tone. So yeah, this is um, Gucci Susan Nude and ColourPop BFF3 Lippy Pencil. Next up, I'm going to take one of my favorite lip pencils and I had lost this. Well, lost it. I hadn't lost it. It was just, it's very, t <laughs> this is what it looks like now. This is my Pat McGrath Permagel uh, lip liner in contour, and this is how much I've used this. I use my lip pencils down to the nub, and I'm telling you guys, I have thought I had lost this, and I was so upset. So I've been leaning very heavily on this one for a lot of things, which these are my two. These are like my two babies, my, my BFF3 and my contour. As you can see, they are both teeny tiny because I use them so much like I really get use out of these um but I found it because I was like I was determined to find it because I do use it and I needed it for this video and I was like I have to find it so I was looking through all my pencils and because it's so tiny it had fallen like flat in the in my little container that I keep all my lip pencils in I was so happy so let's apply contour and I'll show you guys exactly how like you're gonna see how light this pencil is on My lips now look a bit more even in tone, but they don't look, my lip line hasn't disappeared, you know? So usually what I do when I use this shade is I go in with a shade like the Gucci um, Peggy Taupe, and this is in like the lip gloss formula. This is the formula that's kind of like a hybrid. It's kind of like half gloss, half lipstick. It's very sheer, and I don't like to have a really defined lip line with it. I don't want to put something super dark and then put this on, I don't feel like it looks that attractive on me. So I tend to go for contour when I'm wearing this. And I'm gonna apply it here so you guys can see what I mean. And this is when I'm going for a really natural look, but I still want a little color to my lips. How pretty is that? I love this, and I need to wear it more. I tend to wear this more in the summer, and now that we're getting into the warmer months, it's actually pretty nice out today which was shocked me when I went out for my morning walk I was like whoa it's actually nice and sunny because it's been nothing but like dreary rain here in Chicago for a while um but yeah this is Peggy Taupe 
and contour from Pat McGrath. I love this combo. All right, guys, so I went ahead and lined my lips off camera because I'm just using BFF3 again. It's nothing new that you haven't seen in these last, you know, few swatches and try-ons. And I'm gonna go in with my baby, my love, my discontinued gorgeous baby, Lust Angeles, which is one of the uh, matte, the Lux Trans, excuse me, the Lux Trans formula that Pat McGrath discontinued. Um, she has a new cream, kind of cream satin formula, the Satin Allure, that I haven't tried yet. I was tempted by a couple of the shades from that Bridgerton 2 collection, but they were sold out on Sephora. Um, and if, if she keeps them and she has a sale, I know she had a Mother's Day sale, but I don't think those were on sale. The Bridgerton 2 collection, I don't think it was on sale. So when those eventually go on sale, I'll probably pick up one or two shades if they're in, still in stock. But anyway, this is the Lux Trans, her original cream formula, and this is the shade Los Angeles, which is Next to Penny Vage, probably my favorite nude of all time, neutral tone of all time. Okay. So this is Los Angeles. Do you see how, and I'll, let's do another swatch here so you guys can see it up against these other nudes that I have on my hand, which I still have on my hand. I haven't wiped off yet. So. Penny Beige, Susan Nude, Los Angeles, BFF3. Do you see how magic BFF3 is? It looks super dark, but do you see how well it works with all of these neutral tone lipsticks? But as you can see, this one has a hint, just a tiny, tiny hint of like, almost like a, almost like a mauve tone or a little hint of purple to it that just makes it very neutral it's not cool tone to me like this to me is cool tone this one reads very neutral to me and this one's just slightly warmer but los angeles is like that perfect tone i've worn this with really cool tone eye looks i mean here with the look that i'm wearing now i'm wearing um i'm wearing like a a dark green and brown in my matte in the matte shades and then i'm wearing this really cool toned silver but the lip goes goes with the look and that's the magic of this shade. It's just, it's stunning. And I have yet to find, I mean, I've seen a few people suggest shades to me. Um, one of them was the Lolita shade from KBD Beauty. It's not the same, guys. It's more pink. Um, but yeah, I have yet to find anything that's like an exact dead-on dupe for this. And that's why this one doesn't get worn as much. Because once it's done, it's done. And I don't actually have that much of it left. See, I was, we I mean, I was wearing the, I was wearing the shit out of this. But yeah, this is... BFF3 and Los Angeles toned like bullet lipstick for you guys um, before I get into the slightly darker shades of the um, well let's see here do I want to do a fair yeah let's do a fair so I've got two Lisa Eldridge lipsticks here I have Velvet Fawn and I have Velvet Affair now Velvet Fawn I am still trying to find a way to make this work for me and I have glitter glue on my hand hold please all right I'm still trying to find a way to work make this work for me because on my hand it looks quite pink right and I'm gonna swatch Velvet Affair for you guys Velvet Affair looks quite pink when I swatch it too but it's got that neutral tone to it that works so Velvet Fawn and Velvet Affair they look quite pink Let's do the velvet. Let's do the affair lip gloss so you can see. So this is the gloss that is the sister shade to that shade. Next to these, they look quite pink, right? But on my lips, not so much. So let's try Fawn, and I'm gonna see if I can find a lip pencil that really works for this that actually also gives my lips some dimension. So let's try. I've got Structure here from Pat McGrath. That's Structure, slappily swatched. Let's, let's try Structure and see if it works. All right, I've lined my lips with Structure. This was a journey because it's doing this. Do you guys see that? It's doing that and it's breaking. So that's annoying. 
and Pat McGrath is not cheap, so that's extra annoying. All right, so let's take Fawn. Let me get my mirror here. And I just feel like this is very light on me. And I really want to love it because I see it on other people and it looks so good. But what do you guys think? Do we like? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys like this combo or should I go in with an even deeper lip pencil? Like, Let's go in with a... Uh, BFF3 and see what we get. I'm just lining right over just to see. And I'm just using the viewfinder, guys, just so I can see. Instead of using my mirror, that way you guys can still see my lips really well. What do you think? Do you like this? Do you hate it? Let me know. Did you like it before I added BFF3? Do you think this works for my skin tone? Like, I'm looking at it here now. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And that's the issue that I have with Fawn is that I want to love it, but I don't know if I do. Yeah. Let's try Velvet Affair. Okay, guys. So I have lined my lips. And what I did with this particular um, line is that I went in with BFF3 and then I just took a tiny bit of contour over it just to keep it from being too dark. And then we're going to apply Velvet Affair. And you can see how pink this looks on me. It looks quite neutral on other folks. I still use it as a neutral though, because it's kind of like a neutral pink. What do you think? You see how pretty this is? I love this tone. I think it's such a nice natural pink. It's not, you know, it's like what your lips would look like if you had sort of pinky, you know, um, pigmented lips. It's like that. And I actually quite dig that. And I think it even looks nice with this look, this this makeup. It's one of those shades that works with a lot. But yeah, this is Velvet Affair from Lisa Eldridge with two pencils with BFF3 and contour. All right, my lips are getting, my lips are giving me the, the stink eye now. So now let's do Focus. I don't have a lip liner that I use with Focus because I don't wear it enough. So I'm gonna apply Focus without a liner. Pray for me, because that is not my forte. That is not my expertise. But we're gonna try Focus and we're gonna see what it pairs with. And I will say the proper beauty formula took me a while to get used to. It's almost balm or gel-like in texture, but it's grown on me. Okay, so this is Finesse without, I think, is this Finesse or Focused? Focused, excuse me. This is Focused without a liner. And honestly, I don't know if it needs one. You know what I mean? I think it's so pretty on its own. Um, you could probably add one. I think if I were to add one, it would be something like, let's see here. It would be something like this combo. And let me just put it on this part of my hand so you guys can really see it. Instead of that tiny little swatch there. And I might go in with this just, just to show you guys, but this is BFF4 with focused. That's actually quite pretty, isn't it? Let's try it. Let's put it on and see what we get. I'm going to just do it right here. Like so. And see what we get. This thing needs to be sharpened, but we're going to just ignore that. It's a little sloppy, but I think it did add a little dimension, extra dimension to the lip. Of course, if I had done this first, I could have, you know, really gone in with it. I actually like that combo. That's actually a really pretty combo. Okay, I'm gonna have to try that. All right, all right, now we're gonna take Victress. And I'm taking my mirror for this, because again, I'm not gonna go in with a liner. And of the three of the neutrally toned uh, proper beauties that I have, this one's probably the most nude, you know? The most 
neutral on me. Okay, so this is Victress. Look how pretty that is. It still has that bit of yellow tone to it. Make sure I didn't get lipstick all on my nails. Um, it still has a bit of that yellow tone to it, but it's not too much. And that's kind of the issue I was having with finding proper beauty lipsticks that I like is that I felt like some of them were too yellow toned for what I wanted. Um, but this one is actually quite lovely. And again, I don't think this is one I would wear with a, with a pencil. I actually quite like it on its own. It has a very um, natural tone. It kind of, let's swatch these two together. Let's swatch the Gucci gloss next to Victress and see how these two play together. There we go. So, Victress and the Gucci. So the Gucci is a little bit deeper, but I feel like it's more sheer on my lips. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But they're both really pretty. This one's just a little, just a tad warmer. Very nice. All right, I like that. Okay, now let's get into glosses, and I have a couple of liquid lipsticks as well. We're gonna do the glosses first. Um, actually, I take that back. We're gonna do one more deep tone that I wanted to do for you guys, um, or deeper tone. And this is Tacy Hazel. Now, you could say this is not, that's not a neutral, but for me, this is a neutral. It's a really deep, rich brown. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath Permagel Liner in Ground Control. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do with this. The shade, and you've seen me wear this shade on the channel. I've had a couple of people ask me, oh my God, what are you wearing? Um, this is beautiful chocolatey brown tone. And I have a chocolatey brown liquid lipstick as well that I will show you guys. But let's get Tasty Hazel out of the way. So. If you guys ever see me squinting, it's because I wear glasses, so I'm literally squinting to see. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally like, Okay. And I don't wear contacts when I'm filming because it's really, it can be really annoying to, to with the lights. Me and contacts, our relationship has changed drastically post panty. I used to wear contacts every day and then I stopped wearing them completely when we were in lockdown and my eyes have like, have my eyes and contacts have never been the same together. So I very, I use contacts sparingly for very special occasions because they, they bug my eyes so much now. But back on topic Tacy Hazel with ground control this shade guys it's just it's it's so pretty it's like brown but something else you know it's got a little bit of purple to it it's really cool to, it just it's so pretty it's like a neutral but it's like an interesting neutral without being like a mustardy yellow or something like that like it's a deep tone it's very wearable though like this isn't like goth you know like wearing a black lipstick it doesn't feel like that the formula Gucci's matte formula I was worried that it was gonna be really dry it's not it's really velvety it's really velvety on the lips and yeah this is one of my favorite combos I love this this lip color and this with the pencil this combo is amazing and every time I wear it I get tons of compliments because it's just so pretty but yeah, Tasty Hazel and Ground Control. All right, guys, I was gonna do liquid lipstick last, but I think I'm gonna do it first just to get it out of the way so I can like take it off and then I'm gonna put on like a lip balm or lip gloss just to let my lips be free and get some moisture, you know, moisture and hydration. I'm wearing my Laneige Sleepy Mask now. I just took like a little one minute break just to give my lips some, some you know, a break and some hydration. So we're gonna take this off now. I'm probably just gonna pat it off because I don't mind if there's some a little bit left on because I'm not trying to wear these out right now. So I bought over my three favorite neutral liquid lipsticks and they're all from Dose of Colors. So first up is Knock on Wood. Second is the one that I love the most, the one that I've used the most. This is my third or fourth bottle of this shade. That's how much I've loved this and how long I've loved this. 
I have used three of these up. And that's saying something for me. I own a shit ton of makeup, guys. I don't pan a whole lot of things. So if I've panned something, that means I love it. <laughs> and it gets a lot of use in my collection. So, cork. Love this shade so much. This is Chocolate Wasted. I've had my eye on this shade forever and literally every time I went to buy it, it was out of stock. And I finally managed to catch it in stock. So I had, this is probably my newest shade from these, but it's one of my faves already because every time I put it on, I'm like, <gasps> so let's start off with the lightest and that is Knock on Wood. Now this is my second Knock on Wood. Um, I had one before that kind of, I had used most of it up, but it was like halfway done and it was expired. So I decided to just buy a new one. So we're going in with BFF3. Again, you know the drill. You guys should know the theme now. Just me and this pencil are like besties. So I'm going to go in with, oops, knock on wood, I almost picked up cork. All right. Knock on wood. Now, this shade, when I first purchased it, did my voice just crack? Am I going through puberty? This shade, when I first purchased it, I was like, ooh, that's way too light for me. And I will say that when I purchased this, it was in the original packaging some years ago. And I feel like those colors tweaked the shade of this. I think they darkened it like just a tad. Whereas before, I would never have worn this on its own, even with a lip pencil what I used to do is take knock on wood and I would do an ombre lip I would take cork all over and then I would put knock on wood in the center and give myself this really beautiful matte ombre lip I can still do that with these but they're now closer in tone where the the ombre isn't as noticeable but yes this is knock on wood with bff3 I think this is really pretty it's it is on the lighter side but I don't mind it I don't mind it let's move on to cork Honestly, Dosa Colors, they were so popular back in the day. And I feel like people kind of like, they kind of fell off and people forgot about them. But they still make excellent formulas, guys. And they still have, in my opinion, the best liquidistic formula on the market. They just do. I think they need to expand their color selection they need to offer some funkier colors I think the issue is that their colors are quite can be kind of considered traditional and there's so many cool funky you know brands out there doing cool funky lip colors that I think you know it would be it would it would be good for them to have those colors in their formula because I would buy them all <laughs> this is cork do you see how perfect this is for me it's like I love this tone I love it and I do sometimes layer it with gloss. I'll do like one of the um, Pat McGrath Lust Glosses that are really sheer. I'll do Faux Real or I'll do Dare to Bear, which is, has a hint. The thing about those shades is that they have color to them, but they don't have color to them. And you really don't see the color unless you layer them over things. So Dare to Bear has a little bit more pink, whereas Faux Real is a bit more orange, not orange, excuse me, more yellow in undertone, more nude nude. Um, but both work over this shade. They both look amazing. But yes, this is Cork with BFF3. And it's just like, I mean, do you see why I repurchased this shade? Do you see? It's, it's a stunner. I my lips with ground control. I don't know if it's a good line. It looks a little wonky, but we're just going to ignore that. You know, I'm like, I've now swatched like 10 lipsticks. My lips are dark. Okay. My lips are dark. All right. And you'll be able to see the difference between this one and Tasty Hazel, because there is a difference. All right. Do you see the difference? Do you see how deep deep this is this is very much chocolate whereas let's grab um tasty hazel so we can swatch them side by side you guys can really see what i mean by that so tasty hazel i'm gonna take chocolate wasted 
Granted, the formula is different. One is a liquid, one is a bullet lipstick, but they're both matte. And do you see the difference there? Do you see how this has just like a hint of plum? Like just a hint of purple. The chocolate wasted doesn't have. Chocolate wasted is very much like, it's a brown. It's a chocolatey brown. Casey Hazel's like brown with like a hint of plum, hint of purple. I would say I love Chocolate Wasted, but between the two, I do prefer Tasty Hazel simply because I feel that the, the undertone of this gives me a few more, um, a little bit more versatility in what I can wear the shade with and it still look really good with, you know, whatever eye makeup I put it with. But honestly, guys, everything I've tried on today with this eye look, I've liked. Even this color. That's the great thing about neutrals. Ooh, I was enjoying to get that off of my lips are like, <laughs> lady. All right. So the two glosses that I want to show you guys, um, and I thought about bringing over um, my Merit lip oil and like, I have a Tower 28 lip gloss that I wear, but I want to show you guys like the combos that I've been wearing the longest and that I've really been enjoying. Like usually with the Tower 28 lip glosses, I just throw those on and that's usually like, it's like the thing, and the same thing with the Merit lip oil. Those are things that I throw on when I just need something on my lips and I'm not necessarily going for a vibe. These are the things that I reach for when I'm going for a vibe, like I'm trying to complete a look, you know? Does that make sense? All right, so my favorite lip gloss, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preface this and say, guys, this is discontinued. It is a Dose of Colors lip gloss. It is from their Mickey Mouse collection that they did like in like a while ago. Like, I've had this gloss a while. I didn't buy it when it first came out though. I was looking for it and it kept selling out. Well, first I went back and forth as I do. And I'm like, should I get it? Should I not get it? And then I couldn't find it. And then I finally found it. Bought it, loved it. And then they discontinued it because I was totally going to buy another one. I was like, oh, this is amazing. I need to have, to, I need, I need a backup. Okay, quickly line. And this is how I wear this gloss. I wore this gloss yesterday. When I'm filming this, it is the Monday after Mother's Day. And happy Mother's Day if you are a mama. To humans or animals. For mamas count too. So this is BFF3 as usual. You know the drill. And this is one and only. And this is the gloss that I wear when I want a nude lip, but I don't want a lipstick. And I want something that I can easily reapply. This is what I wear when I'm like going out to eat or something, which we did yesterday. We took my mom out for brunch. How beautiful is this? Seriously. Let's not let's ignore the truck in the background. Let's talk about let's focus on the lip gloss. This is And do you see how again it's one of those looks because it's so neutral, it goes with everything. It's such a beautiful combo. Yeah. Hey girl, hey. I love this combo. So yeah, this is one and only from Dose of Colors. I really wish they would just bring this back, the shade. They don't even have to call it the same name. Just bring back the shade, guys. Just bring back the shade. Because <laughs> it's so pretty. One and only BFF. So I have realigned re my lips. I combined BFF3 and um, Ground Control, Brain Fart. Um, and this is Lisa Eldridge Affair Gloss. I think it's called Lip Embrace Gloss. There's always like a fancy name in front of gloss you know, with these brands and I'm just like lip gloss. All right. The, the gloss version of Affair for me reads far more neutral on my lips anyway than the lipstick does. The lipstick still has a bit of a pink undertone that the gloss does not. All right. So this is a fair gloss with a combo of BFF3 and um, did I say ground control? Contour. And I just, I like the definition that BFF3 gives me, but when I use it on top with contour over it, it just lightens, the, softens the lines a bit and lightens the tone a bit while still keeping that definition that I like. 
So that's why I like to combine those sometimes together. Um, but yeah, very pretty. This is one of those, again, this is, I don't wear this on its own with like no liner like I would my Merit or my um, Tower 28 gloss that it's just like a gloss that I throw on and then I throw in my purse. This is for me, I like to give my, I still like to give my lips a little um, definition. And I also like to pair this over other things. I, ironically, I don't think I've ever worn it over its matte bullet lipstick sister. I've worn it over other things like cork. For instance, I've worn it over cork. I pair with a lot of glosses because it just is that perfect like brownie neutral on my skin and that a lot of things go with it because of that. But yeah, so this is a fair um, lip embrace affair from Lisa Eldridge. All right, guys. So those are all of my neutral lipstick, neutral lip gloss, lip pencil combos that I like to wear on a regular Bases, along with some shades that I'm trying to figure out what the combo right combos are for them because I want to get more use out of them. Do you own any of these shades? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, guys, let me know if you know of any other really great neutral lipsticks. I'm always in the market for a neutral lipstick. It takes, I'm either in the market for like a bold red orange <laughs> or like a mustardy, bugly color. Or just a neutral. Like those are my those are my those that's my wheelhouse with lipstick. Um, before I started really wearing a lot of like eye makeup, I was all about the bold lip. I usually would only do like mascara and a bright lip. I would do a purple or a pink or some funky color, you know, a black, because I didn't wear any other makeup. And now because I tend to wear more eye makeup, I I like to counterbalance that a bit with a neutral lip. And if I'm doing a bold lip, I tend to counterbalance that with a slightly lighter eye, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, let me know down below if you know of any fun, you know, combos. I do have other pencils. I have a ton of nude and neutral lip pencils and I did bring all of them over here. But then I, as I was looking at them, I'm like, I don't really use these like I would, you would think. I tend to, what tends to happen with me with lip pencils is that I get obsessed with one or two as evidenced <laughs> and then this is all I use and then I use them up and then I'll move on to other ones in my collection that's usually how I do things um but yeah two other ones that kind of have come in handy for me are ground control and I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this about face beauty one and clockwork because I feel like it, it's one of those that has that, that slight yellow tone that's going to work with a lot of like the funkier sh tones in my makeup collection so yeah let me know guys let me know down below if you enjoyed this video if you have more suggestions of neutral lipsticks or lip pencils leave a comment down below don't be, forget to hit the like button and if you are not subscribed guys please subscribe i mean i think i think we're, i'm a pretty fun person to watch so if you're enjoying my content just hit the red subscribe make it gray and i will see you guys in the next one bye now no, you having lipstick on our lips, our teeth that whole time. Really? You guys couldn't tell me? Mm -hmm.